Hi, beloved. In the Lord, my name is Emily. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lily. I am so, 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 so excited to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. You are defensive on purpose. You are defensive on purpose. The Babylonian spirit has got to stop playing games, playing games with the children of Zion. The Babylonian spirit has, stopped, has got to stop playing games, tormenting, destroying the people of Zion. An invisible war is going on, beloved, between the Babylonians and the people of Zion. So the spirit of the Babylonians and the spirit of the people of Zion are in conflict right now. The people of, of Zion are the people of God and the people of the Babylon or the Babylonian spirit are foreign spirits that have been, the one way we say principles and powers, weakness, high places, we are talking about the Babylonian spirits that fight day and night to suppress the people of God, the people of Zion. And the truth is that most people of God are in Babylon. They are in Babylon. They are oppressed under Babylonian spirits. And so that spirit keeps tormenting them. And when they are connected with those in Zion, those in Zion face the consequences. Those in Zion can feel the Babylonian spirits. And that is why this conflict has been going. This conflict is going on, beloved. So until we deal, deal with this Babylonian spirit, until God help us to deal with this Babylonian spirit, then we will not have rest. Until this spirit is done with completely, then we shall have rest. The Lord is the Lord is saying that please do not be ignorant. Do not be ignorant. Remain in Zion. Doesn't matter how you feel, doesn't matter what goes on in your life, remain in Zion. And those who are in, 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 in Babylon have compassion over them. Because they're looking for a way out. That those in the world, those who have refused, have rejected the way of light and have accepted the ways of the world, those who have sold their souls to, 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 to Babylon, those who have given their powers to Babylon, have compassion on them. The Lord is with you, beloved. They want as many people on their side as possible. And because a lot of people are leaving them and coming to Zion, they are not happy. Because they know that together we stand stronger. Together we can conquer them. Together we can defeat them. Together, together we can surprise them and put them where they belong. And so they want to like, it's like they, they want our space. The Babylonian spirit wants our space in Zion. They want to capture Zion. They want to bring back Zion under captivity. When God has really turned our captivity around. The Lord our God has already turned our captivity around. But the people of Zion, the, the people of Babylon, the Babylonian spirit wants to bring us back into captivity. That cannot happen. And they do this through diverse methods, through diverse schemes, bringing poverty, depression, confusion, conflict, distrust, putting, us, putting stumbling blocks on our way. So when, when, when people get to face those situations, they start rushing back to them. The Lord says, please remain in Zion. Don't rush back to Babylon in Jesus' mighty name. Do not rush back to Babylon in Jesus' mighty name. Remain in Zion. And those who are in, in Babylon have compassion on them because they are engulfed by strange spirits. Strange, strange spirits. And when you connect to them, the strange spirit behind them begin to torment you. Mm. When you connect, when you, when, when you start feeling a time when you connect to somebody, know that they are connected to the spirit of Babylon and that spirit has been torment, has, is, is, is assigned to torment you so that you get to you just boycott from them or mistreat them. The Lord says, if you recognize our people in Babylon, have compassion on them. Let us join forces together and fight that spirit in Zion. Fight that spirit that, that spirit that, 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 that they brought into Zion. This is deep. At this point, I was praying. I said, Lord, what is going on in the spirit? Why is this? Why, why, why the conflict? 
Why are what why are we fighting? We just know we just us in Zion, we know we are fighting spirits. Where are these spirits coming from? The Lord told me, Lady, you are fighting strange spirits, foreign spirits from Babylon. They want to take this the place I have given to my people. They want to capture Zion. They want to destroy Zion. The Lord said he's leaving his people from, from Babylon because they have not been able to, to, to be well because they have been cut off from their roots. The people of Zion can't even do anything and prevail and succeed because they are in a strange, in strange land. How can they sing the Lord's song in a strange land? How? How? Psalms 100 and uh, 37 verse 1. By the rivers of Babylon where we sat, when we sat and wept, when we remembered Zion. Now you see here now that the people of Zion found themselves in Babylon and they can't open Babylon. They are under captivity, going through depression, poverty, discrimination, and everything. And they began to remember Zion. They start that they could not do anything and then they began to remember Zion where they are coming from, their origin. Their origin. My brothers and sisters, don't be ignorant. We, we are fighting because we are, we are conscious of what we are fighting against. The Lord has already turned our captivity around. God has already delivered us. Listen, there is peace in Zion. It doesn't matter how they try to penetrate. It doesn't matter how they try to destroy us. No matter how they try to blind us from seeing who we are, from recognizing who we are, from believing in ourselves, following our narratives, and being whole within ourselves. They are, they, they, they are just fooling themselves, below because we know who we are. God has opened our eyes to see that we are children of Zion. And we don't need the spirit of Babylon to come to detect, to detect for us, to control us. We are standing so strong and we shall continue to decree and declaring things against them. Let them check out of our spaces. My God, they need to check out of our spaces. We have been, we have been delivered. Psalm 126 verse, uh, verse 1. When the Lord brought the captivity of Zion, when the Lord brought back the captive Zions, the captive ones of Zion, they were like those who dream dreams. God has already brought us back from the land of from Babylon, from, from 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 Babylon, and we are back into Zion. And those who are awake, those who are waking up, they know that they are back. Well, if you are waking up now, you know that you are back. You are back to Zion. It may not be a geographical change. This is this is it's not about geographical change. It's about it's about your consciousness. Knowing that no, you, you don't belong there. God has really delivered from the kingdom of darkness and has brought you into the kingdom of light. The kingdom of light is, is Zion. The kingdom of darkness is Babylon. Hallelujah. So when you wake up with consciousness and you remember, and even physically, if you want to, 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 to leave, you know, Babylon physically, you can do so and come to Zion. In Jesus' mighty name. This is deep. This is deep. I got this when I had this revelation. I got I said, really, God? I said, really? So if you're fighting strange spirits, and some people connected to you are connect deeply connected with the, with Babylonian spirits, and those spirits behind them have been tormenting your life, destroy most of you are being destroyed by the Babylonian spirits without you even knowing. Yes. Now you know that we are fighting against a certain spirit, the Babylonian spirit. They are the ones who've been fighting. They, they, they are the ones who've been fighting against. The people of, people of Zion are tired of, like, but we shall continue to fight. Because our God says we should fight is our birthright. And we are never alone when we're fighting. Because we have a God. Who is at, at peace with us. The God, the God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they are behind us. They know that we are right to fight. Our ancestors are never against us. They are never against us. No matter how they try to twist the whole thing, bring us all, all different, um, showing us different names, different pictures, and everything. We know our ancestors. Hallelujah. Yes, we are. We know our God. We know our God. 
We know our God. And our God has, is never fighting against us. He's not fighting against us. But fighting for us and with us to conquer the, the Babylonian spirit. To conquer them and remain at peace in Zion. There is peace in Zion. And that peace shall remain forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. And see you in the next video.